Innovators change everything. They alter what is possible. They are dot connectors, seers. They are not defined by the past or the expectations of others. They step out, take risks, and believe they can create a clearing where none existed before. Innovators stand and shout until they are heard. We have great innovators in DC working on projects large and small. Their work will change this city for the foreseeable future. The change will be irrevocable. Today, we will recognize 10 innovators. Chuck Brown. Chuck Brown is the founder and creator of Go-Go Music. Chuck says, I wanted a sound I could call my own. Go-Go's beat is unmistakable. He invented the rhythm that this city moves to. Mary Brown. Life Pieces to Masterpieces was founded by Mary Brown, an arts and youth development organization for DC boys and young men ages three to 21. Life Pieces to Masterpieces is named after an art technique, a painting on canvas, cutting it into various shapes and sewing the pieces together. Mary has boys sew the pieces of their lives together. These boys, African-American males east of the river, process the good, the bad, and the unspoken through art. All 13 members of the DC Council supported the Green Building Act of 2006, which creates green building incentives, expedited document review, and establishes a green building fund. This is forward thinking. Their leadership has moved DC to the forefront of American cities for greener, more energy efficient buildings. They have set an example for their constituents and the nation. Henry Gregory and Trina Bird Gregory. Henry and Trina own Ox O Care Cleaners, the first 24 our environmentally friendly cleaner in DC, a green cleaner, a husband and wife team, a business that is needed in every neighborhood, a strong set of convictions about the environment, a small business that is an example to the many, many small green businesses to come. Anthony Lewis, Verizon. Verizon, under the leadership of Washington, D.C. President Tony Lewis, is in the midst of an historic transformation. Verizon is deploring the nation's most advanced fiber optic network and is the only major telecommunications company that is installing fiber optic lines into the home. This technology represents the next evolution in the availability of information Information, the lifeblood of change and learning. Verizon envisions a network that will empower consumers and spark the imagination of entrepreneurs. W. Thomas Skip McMahon, the Town Hall Education Arts and Recreation Center, the ARC, opened 24 months ago. It is Ward 8's shining theater, dance studio, and music hall. It is a place to learn and play and get well and be safe. There are more than 7,000 children living in, within one mile of the ark, and almost half of them live in poverty. At the ark, students can participate in nine cultural and service organizations, including the Boys and Girls Club, Corcoran Gallery of Art, Levine School of Music, and the Washington Ballet. Howard Charlotte's, the Willie Mammoth Theater. 
Howard Shaw was, takes chances at Willie. He chooses plays that will start conversations. He pushes people's buttons. He calls it igniting an explosive engagement between theater artists and their audiences. Willie's niche is to be provocative. He is taking his business and his art and making it important to the people of DC. Howard says, artistic risk is a way of life. John Talmadge, Social Compact. John's firm, Social Compact, studies the economic viability of poor neighborhoods across the country. Social Compact has applied its drill down analysis to 101 neighborhoods over the past five years and is now working here in DC. Social Compact's data is used to make companies entrepreneurs, and investors aware of new opportunities. John's data fuels economic revivals, fights stereotypes, identifies markets, clarifies niches, and challenges assumptions about spending and consumer choices. Ann Yonkers and Bernie Prince, Fresh Farm Markets. The DuPont Circle Market has a customer base of 100,000 and was named by the Wall Street Journal as one of the top farmers markets in the country. Fresh farm markets create place, activate streets, enhance community, support good nutrition, are beautiful, real, and exactly what we need more of. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating and thanking our the Washington DC Economic Partnership Innovators for 2007. That's great. That's great. Come on, you guys. Come on.